What's up everybody and welcome to this second edition of the Fire Camp, the new concept of my channel. I hope you enjoyed last time I had some comments. Don't hesitate to tell what you think about those Fire Camps into the comment of this video. And don't hesitate also to subscribe to the channel because I saw that 80% it's not 90 or 80, I don't know, percent of the viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Okay, the story that I'm going to tell you today is a real story. Um, it's about a developer that I know, and I'm not going to say his name of the, on this channel, but he's going to recognize himself. And this developer gave me a very good listen years ago, and this is something we don't talk about. I mean, I didn't see that much people talking about that. But it's about the money, the money that you earn when you are a freelancer. In 2015, I arrived on Paris and I was one of the first view developers doing a lot of freelance into a lot of startups. And basically, before that, I was doing a lot of WordPress. And I met this developer, let's say that we are going to call him Jay. Jay was a developer um, that was doing only WordPress. And he was doing WordPress for different companies, not only startups, real estate agencies, brands. He had a lot of different um, kind of clients. And making a WordPress, it's really different from making a web application. Let me explain to you a little bit. When you are making a web application, you start from scratch. You got nothing. You got to build everything. If you start a project in React, Vue, Next.js, Svelte or whatever, you got to start from the bottom. When you start with WordPress, actually, you got a dashboard. It's WordPress is basically a content management system. So everything is already built and it has been built by thousands of people. So they thought about everything, the pages, the post, etc, etc. The only thing that you got to know is to deal with WordPress. So WordPress is made with PHP. It's really old and it's 40% of the websites in the world are made from WordPress. And basically, Jay specialized on creating websites on WordPress. So me as a Vue.js developer, I was working long term with my clients because I was making application. And when you make applications, it often takes time. So my missions were like one, two, three, six months, really often. But for Jay, it was totally different. He was working week by week. And Jay had so many clients because everybody's using WordPress, but not every startup is making their product on WordPress. So basically, there are more people that need WordPress than startups that need developers. So basically, Jay had clients all the time. And he had so many clients that he was obliged to give his clients to other people, such as me or other freelancers. And of course, every time he took a commission. So it didn't took long for Jay to create his own agency where he was working as a freelance, but also hiring other freelance to make uh, the job. And last year, Jay called me and he told me that he was making $1 million a year just making WordPress websites. And it gave me a great lesson. It gave me a great lesson because what happened at that moment was like, you don't need to make things complicated to make money. And also you think that you have to learn the latest sexy framework to earn money to get very well paid. But that's not true at all. WordPress is very old. There's a lot of resources online and there will be always work with WordPress. So you don't need to learn the latest, sexiest JavaScript framework. And for me, it was really different. I didn't switch back to WordPress because I like a lot the web development. I like learning frameworks and stuff. And I was good with what I earned. But it's totally doable with that kind of schema to be its own agency, to get all the contracts and give them to other freelancers and get a commission. And also execute the biggest contract by yourself to make $1 million a year. In conclusion, the last word of this video is what is your goal? Ask yourself this question. And again, I'm saying that with my own vision. Other developers can have their own vision and I respect totally that and I ask them to do exactly the same with me. But in my opinion, there's a lot of freelancers. They never determine what really drives them. What is their goal? Do they want money? Do they want freedom? Do they want free time? Do they want fun? Probably all of that at the same time. I hope this video will give you a clearer view on what is your goal and what do you try to achieve. Thank you very much for watching this new fire camp. I see you in two weeks. Post uh, your opinion in the comments. I'm really, really interested in. Put a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.